Today I will be showing you how to do a fresh install of the Windows 11 Insider Preview without you actually logging in to the Insider Preview channel but you can get the ISO and install it. I'm going to show you the step by step how to do that. And on top of that, I am also reviewing a tool called Tiny11. Tiny11, it's an application that allows you to create a very tiny uh, ISO that you can install on your PC. So without wasting too much time, let's dive right into it. All right, let's get started. Now, navigate to the link that I have in the description. From there, tap this number or just click that link will take you here. And from here, you pick uh, this one that say AMD64. You get that one and uh, you select which language you want to select. I'm going to which language you want to select. Let's get English. Go to next. From here, we're going to choose Windows Pro and uh, go to next. Now, before actually click on next, make sure you know exactly which version of Windows you have the license for. I have Windows Pro, so I will click next. And uh, from here, you pick if you want to add all of this, it's up to you. Uh, the default should be fine and you click on uh, create download package. When you have the create download package, it will be a very small zip file when you have that unzip the file and go to the folder that you unzipped and look for this one this one here it will say upp underscore download underscore windows right click on that and click on run as administrator say yes and from this window tap r and everything should start downloading the iso and wait for it at the end it will tell you press zero to continue and uh, the window will close you will have your file out here you see this file it will say exactly the build number and uh, whatever that says this is the iso file we're going to use what you're going to do here is right click and then mount the file and it's going to create a drive and make note of that drive right now we see that the drive is the g drive or you can go to this pc and you will see that it's there it's a g drive all right we have the iso next is to have the usb drive it's important that you have at least eight gig if not more than that so eight gig i have this one this one is 32 gig doesn't matter eight gig should be fine plug it in in your computer and download a tool called tiny 11 builder the link is in the description go to the github page no other places you have to download this it's only on github and then go to uh, code and download zip unzip the folder extract all and go to the unzip folder enter and then right click on where it says tiny 11 creator don't click anything else just click on tiny 11 creator right click run has administrator more info run anyway yes this has its start it asks where the windows 11 image is remember we noticed that it's on drive d so we type d and press enter okay so from here we're going to wait it's going to tell us which image we want to load and we say windows 11 pro so which is index number one we press one and press enter and basically you just wait it's going to create our tiny 11 windows uh iso so we wait and this will create the windows 11 tiny iso it's gonna take some time, let's wait for it to run and then we come back once this is completed. Okay, the build is completed. Press any key to continue. Of course. All right, here it is and the file is only 4.4 gig. And so the next thing we're going to do here is we need to create a bootable USB. So hopefully you have your USB handy. And the next thing we're going to do is to download this file. Uh, just type like that and then download that i have a link in the description where you can get this one don't get it anywhere else i prefer getting the portable and that should be good enough with what we want to do and then go run it 
yes uh do you want to allow check up uh, whatever we don't care and it's asking to select the drive i don't have the drive in let's put in the drive select the drive and we're going to select the iso of course select the iso and then we look for the tiny 11 there tiny 11 builder open and but you want to name it it doesn't matter and you have that default that doesn't matter and you go to start uh, i don't like having this one because tiny 11 already taking care of all of these so we don't have to worry about everything that been popped up here say okay and say okay and wait for it to create the drive and then we'll come back after this all right the bootable usb is created uh, we can close this application close this one and we are ready to install tiny 11. all right the installation is pretty quick when you put the usb drive you click next you go next you go next and uh, you will wait for it to come up it will reboot and you have to be patient for it to reboot and it's pretty fast because we remove quite a lot of steps you will see yourself and this is being done by the script that we use to create the iso all right we have our first boot of tiny 11 now let's see this post install what's going to happen okay we have this one no more window now remember when you are at this stage windows will ask you to have a microsoft account but you will see yourself what's going to happen here so we go next of course we're going to skip this one and usually this step usually at this step it will ask us to put our microsoft account and whatnot and you will see it's going to skip it you see directly we have to enter our the name so i'll put my name in here and it will ask to put a password i'll put in the password and we don't need this 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 and we'll go accept okay and this is what we get out of the box now things you have to remember when you first booted on tiny 11 is that you will notice there will still be the microsoft edge icon and you can ignore that icon this one here it's kind of like a an icon missing there so you can ignore that all right thank you for watching if you reached this far consider subscribing if these are the kind of videos you would like to see and don't forget to turn on your bell notification thank you for watching and i catch you on the next one